how to set up and use focus ai hello everyone welcome to this video where i'm going to show you two different methods with the help of which you will be able to set up focus ai in your pc or in your laptop and i'll also show you how you can start using it so make sure you watch the video carefully until the very end so the first step of downloading the focus ai in your pc or in your laptop is that you just have to launch your web browser and in the search bar you will have to type focus ai download once done you will be able to see the first link from github.com so you will have to click on this link and then you will be landed on this focus page now over here you will be able to see various folders and various information relating to focus how it works what are some of its prompts as well as its latest versions so over here in order to download it you just have to scroll down a bit and click on the option called click here to download once done, a 1.8 GB file will be start downloading in your device. So you just have to download it. And once it is downloaded successfully, you are going to see these three folders into it. So once you extract that zip file, you just have to click on run.bat and then it will be start running in your web browser. Now the second method of using focus in your web browser is via Google Colab. For that, I will put the link of Focus Collab down in the description. So you just have to first click on that link and then you will be redirect on this page where you are going to see this script. Here you will have to first connect it to the server. For that, you need to make sure that the T4 version is selected over here. And then right next to it, instead of these three dots, you will have to click on the connect button. Now, once the connection is established successfully, you just have to click on this play button in order to run this script. And once the script is running, it will start downloading various types of URLs. And among these URLs, you will have to click on this URL that is running on public URL. So once you click on it, you will be redirect in focus where you can start using it and you can start generating images by providing the prompts into it. So over here, as you can see that the interface of focus is looking something like this here, you are not seeing any options. So in order to get those options, you will have to click on the advanced option in the bottom. Then in the right hand side, you are going to see various types of options like settings, style, model, advanced, etc. So we are going to look at each and every settings one by one so first in the settings the preset will be on initial but if you want to make it more realistic then you just have to click on the realistic option and the associated options like the associated ratio and various option will be uploaded over here soon for this video i'm going to keep it as initial then in the performance you can click on extreme speed then in the expect ratio, I will recommend you to use the one is to one. Then in the image number, by default, there will be two number of images. But if you want to increase, then you just have to use this slider and it will show you the number of images it is showing you. So at max, you can have 32 images at a time, but I would recommend you to use it on three or four images. After that, if you want to change the image output format then you can also use these features you can get the image in png jpeg webb etc so here if you click on the style by default these three styles will be selected but if you want to select any other styles uh, then you can hover over to the style and it will show you the image associated with it so you just have to click on that and it will generate that type of image but for this video i'm going to keep these three next we have the model so it will show you all of the models that it is using so over here you don't need to actually change anything similarly in the advanced you don't need to change any of the settings so once our setting is done now is the time to generate our images by giving it some of the prompts so if you have any of the prompts in your mind then you can start typing the prompt in this section or what you can do is you can simply seek help from Gemini or chat gpt so for this video i'm going to use Gemini. so you just have to come to gemini.google.com then you just have to sign in into your account afterwards in this section you just have to write the prompt let's say i want to write give me image generation prompt for 
हैंडसम अमेरिकन बॉय so after giving this instruction i have pressed the enter button now it has given me some of the prompts so here are the prompts that it has given so you just have to copy any of the prompts that you want and after copying it you will have to come to focus and paste it over here if you want to add any additional information into it then you can also do the same and then click on the generate button once done it will take some time to generate the images for you now as you can see that i have set two images so it is going to give me two images so you just have to wait for some time for it so until it is generating the images for me i will show you bunch of different other features of focus ai so if you click on the input image option you will be able to see various options as well where you can upscale or use variation on top of your image if you want to use the face swap feature by giving the image prompt then you just have to click on the image prompt tab and here you can add up to four images here you will also be able to see the in paint and the out paint options so i will make a video on this topic as well next if you click on the describe option you will be able to see the content type that is paragraph and art and anime so if you click on metadata then you can even use the image to give metadata into it so in addition to the advanced option you will be able to see various types of input images options as well so if i scroll up as you can see over here that it has given me two different images based on the prompt that i have given to it now if i want to view them in a bigger picture so i'll simply click on it and as you can see that this is the full screen of the image and to be honest it is looking very realistic so if i want to download it then you can right click on it and click on the save image as option then you can give this image a name and then press the save button the second method of downloading it in your device is that you just have to come to this page again and now you will have to click on the download button in the top right hand corner and again it will be start downloading in your device if you want to view the second image and as you can see that second image is also quite good so this is how you can easily set up and start using focus ai i hope the video was helpful and if it was then don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you so much for watching